Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to a new episode of In the Light of the Quran. As we saw last time, that the Quran contains a lot of wisdom. And Allah wants us to learn this wisdom so that we can improve our lives. So that we can understand this life as it really is. A lot of wisdom in the Quran there is for us to learn. And as I said throughout the series, we will try to get these wisdoms and benefit from them. And try to live by the light of the Quran. Now the first wisdom we will take today is a very important one. Allah wants us at every rak'ah when we pray to recite a wonderful surah which is Surah Al-Fatiha. The opening which Prophet Muhammad وسلم, gave it the title, The Mother of the Book, Ummul Kitab. Because it contains, it summarizes Everything in the Qur'an, it is the gist of the Qur'an, is the most important of all wisdoms in our lives, the most important to us. So we will try to see today what the wisdoms are that we can find in Surah Al-Fatiha. We'll try to benefit from it, we'll try to internalize it and live by it and live by its light. So first I will recite Surah Al-Fatiha and some of the verses that come after it from Surah Al-Baqarah. Then we will get into the wisdoms of Surah Al-Fatiha. <coughs> أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألف لام ذلك الكتاب لا ريب فيه هدى للمتقين الذين يؤمنون بالغيب ويقيمون الصلاة ومما رزقناهم ينفقون والذين يؤمنون بما أنزل إليك وما أنزل من قبلك وبالآخرة هم يوقنون أولئك على هدى من ربهم أولئك على هدى من ربهم وأولئك هم المفلحون إن الذين كفروا سواء عليهم أأنذرتهم أم لم تنذرهم لا يؤمنون ختم الله على قلوبهم وعلى سمعهم وعلى أبصارهم غشاوة وعلى أبصارهم غشاوة ولهم عذاب عظيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome back So after reciting these verses from Surah Al-Fatiha We will try to see what the wisdoms are that we can find in Surah Al-Fatiha And why Allah wants us to repeat Surah Al-Fatiha at least, you know, in every prayer, at least during the obligatory prayers. It is very important to recite this verse with understanding. Because when Allah revealed the Qur'an, He wants us to understand it. As He, as he said in one of the verses of the Qur'an, that a Qur'an that we sent to you, O Prophet Muhammad, so the people could read it and contemplate its meanings. So now we will see what the beautiful wisdoms that we find in Surah Al-Fatiha are, how they are important for us or to us in our lives as Muslims. 
Now, let's start with the verses of Surah Al-Fatiha. First, Allah says at the beginning of Surah Al-Fatiha, we start with the name of Allah, the compassionate, the merciful. And we let me recite the verses or narrate the translation of the meanings of Surah Al-Fatiha before we start with the explaining the wisdoms that we find in it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, In the name of Allah, the compassionate, the merciful. All praise is due to Allah, Lord of all creation. The compassionate, the merciful. O Allah, it is you that we worship. It is you alone that we worship. And only you we beseech for help. Guide us to the straight path. The path of of those that you favored. Not the path of those who have incurred your anger nor the path of those who have went astray. These are the verses of Surah Al-Fatiha. This is the translation of their meaning. Allah starts or tells us to start this verse with praising Him. We say all praise is to Allah, Lord of all the creation. The Prophet Muhammad وسلم, in an authentic narration, he says that when the person or when the Muslim starts reciting Surah Al-Fatiha in the prayer, Allah says, because Allah said that I split the prayer, which is Surah Al-Fatiha in the prayer, between me and my servants into two equal halves. So when my servant says, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, praise is due to Allah, Lord of all the creation, then Allah will say, my servant has thanked me. When, this, when the Muslim says, Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim, the compassionate, the merciful, Allah will reply, My servant has praised me. When the servant says, Maliki Yawmiddin, Lord of the Day of Judgment, or Master of the Day of Judgment, Allah will say that my servant has glorified me. But when we say, It is you that we worship. Oh Allah, it is you whom we worship. And it is you who we beseech for help. Now this is the most important statement in Surah Al-Fatiha. We say, O Allah, it is you that we worship. That means only you we worship. No one else. We don't worship any other than you. In this verse, or in this statement, we declare the unity of worship. Tawheed of worship. That we worship Allah alone. We make Allah the center of our lives. We live our lives only for Allah. O Allah... Only you will worship. We live only for you, not for anyone else, not for anything else. This is the Tawheed of Uluhiyya, the Tawheed of worship. Only singling out Allah with all forms of worship. Then the second half of it, we say, وَإِيَّاكَ نَسْتَعِينَ It is your help that we seek. It is only you that we beseech for help. Now when we say this statement, Allah says, Allah says when we recite this statement, in the prayer or during the prayer, Allah will say, this verse is between me and my servant. This verse is split. So let's see what kind of division or what is this split. When we say, oh Allah, it is you that we worship, this is the right of Allah. The unity of worship. Allah's right upon us. Then The second half, we say, it is your help that we seek because we need your help. So this is our half from this statement. So Allah will grant us His help. His help to worship Him and His help to get by in this life successfully. To pass this test that Allah put us in successfully with dignity and with honor. So that when we meet Allah, we come to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with dignity and honor. So this statement is split between us and Allah. Then after making this statement, or after making this supplication, Allah, we say, we turn to Allah to say, guide us to the straight path. Guide us, Allah, to the straight path. Now this is the most, you know, this is the most important moment in our lives. When we stand before our Creator and we make the supplication. Imagine we start with praising Allah, thanking Allah, glorifying Allah, saying that Allah is the master of the day of judgment. So we give Allah His, His true worth, the praise that He deserves, the master of the day of judgment, Lord of all the worlds, the merciful, the compassionate. So all of this 
is some kind of paving the way for us to start the supplication, the most important supplication, which is guide us to the straight path. Now this is the most important wisdom in our lives. If we manage to understand it, now we have really put our hands on the most important aspect of our lives, the key to success. Why did Allah teach us at this most imp- very, most, very important point in our lives to make this supplication? We can make the supplication of asking for provision. Ask Allah to give us more of His wealth, more of His bounty, give us more. Why don't we ask for victory? It's very important for the Muslims to be dominant, to spread the good that they have. Why don't we ask for that? Allah has taught us to ask for the straight path, guidance to the straight path. Why? Why has the straight path become the most important aspect, the most important wisdom in our lives? Because if we are given the straight path, this is the ultimate success. With wealth, wealth will one day end. And even if we have wealth, once we die, we will leave the wealth behind us. So it's not eternal. If we ask for victory, we ask for dominance and to be given power and authority, to spread the good, even this could be taken away from us. And even when we die, you know, all these things will never count again. Victory and wealth. But when we are given the straight path, guidance to the straight path, it means that wealth will come to us because it will be the means with which we will spread the good. Victory will come to us because anyone who holds on to the straight path, to the rope of Allah, Allah will give them dominance and victory. But the straight, the straight path will remain with us even until the Day of Judgment. It will guide us throughout this life and in the graves Allah will guide, Allah will help us, Allah will give us a lot of the things that we wish for. Allah will give us security and safety in the grave because of the straight path. So now what Allah wants to teach us that the most important thing in our lives is the straight path. If we are guided to it, all the goodness of this life will come to us. If we are not guided to it, then nothing will, will lose everything. Even if we have wealth and victory and dominance, all this will bring us no avail, will give us no benefit at all. So the most important wisdom in the Qur'an, oh Allah guide us to the straight path. It was said by some of the wise peoples, wise scholars of the Islam, they would say all the scriptures that were sent to all the prophets, were summarized and the gist of them, the most important things of them, were put in the Qur'an. And all everything in the Qur'an, all the wisdoms in the Qur'an are summarized in Surah Al-Fatiha, the opening. And all, every, all the wisdoms, everything good that is in the Fatiha was summarized in this statement, which is, O oh Allah, guide us, guide us to the straight path and before it, إِيَّاكَ نَعْبُدُ وَإِيَّاكَ نَسْتَعِينَ O Allah, it is you that we worship. And it is to you, or it is you that we turn to in besiege of help. Then, O oh Allah, guide us to the straight path. This is the summary of our way of life. This is the summary of the story of our existence in this world. We depend upon Allah and we turn in worship to Allah. If we achieve the condition, the first condition, O oh Allah, it is you that we worship, that we worship Allah alone, Allah will help us. Allah said, we, I split this between me and my servant. Now Allah's half is that we worship Him. This is Allah's right. If we fulfill that, then Allah will support us with the second thing that we ask for, which is, it is your help that we seek. Allah will grant us His, his help in all the affairs of our lives and most importantly, guiding us to the straight path. So this is the most important wisdom. Those who have followed the straight path, they are the winners. The ones who strayed away from it, those are the losers. This is the story of this life. This is the wisdom and the meaning of our existence. Now, until we meet next time, inshallah, we'll take another wisdom from the Qur'an. We'll try to implement it and benefit from it. Inshallah, live our lives in the light of the Qur'an. Until we meet next time, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.